Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET Core MVC without using Entity Framework how to get records from a database. And here we got the final output. Notice the display records from database in ASP.NET Core MVC without using Entity Framework. After the headings. We have binded that table, EMP table from SQL Server Management Studio. And this is the table, EMP table. This is the data. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET Core MVC, to fetch records from database, first we'll check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. The table is EMP table which contains four columns, employee ID, EMP name, email and salary. Now my aim is I want to fetch these records using ASP.NET Core in MVC without using Entity Framework. And this table EMP table I have created in this new DB database. So let's start the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET Core web application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the projects, I'm selecting ASP.NET Core web application. Click Next. Let's give the project name Binding Data Core MVC without entity framework and this is the project name and I want to save this project in the, in the D drive project folder click create and the project is created successfully let's close this default window open solution explorer First in this project, I am adding a new class in this models folder to create the public properties. Right click the models folder, add class. The class name I am adding EMP class add. And here we got our EMP class. Now first let's add the namespace using system dot component model dot data inertions after adding this namespace next in this EMP class I'm adding the key method then let's add the properties prop double tab which will create the property the default type is an int and the first property name I'm adding the property name must be the column name in the table Let's open the SQL Server Management Studio. The first EMP table, the column is the EMP ID. Copy that one and paste here. Then let's next one prop double tap, which is a string data type. And the property name is EMP name. Copy that one and paste here. Prop double tap, string type. And the next one is the email and the last one prop double tab string and salary and notice here the property data type of the salary is a string type if you notice in my table the data type salary is the nvar cal so when we have created the properties the column names and the data types must be same. Now after adding the class, next step, open Solution Explorer. Let's create a new controller in this controllers folder to write the code. Right click the controllers folder, add controller. And I'm selecting MVC file, MVC controller empty, add. The controller name is employee records is my controller name then add and here we got our EMP records controller 
Now before adding the coding part into this controller, first let's check in the solution explorer in the project dependencies folder I'm expanding that one. Notice we got the packages folder is added when we are adding the MVC template. Let me expand this packages folder. These four packages were installed automatically when we have selected MVC controller template. So after we got this packages into a project now let's add the namespaces first the first package I'm adding using Microsoft dot data the next namespace using Microsoft dot data dot SQL client and the last namespace I'm adding the models folder so first let's add the project name binding data core MC record entry framework then dot models folder after adding this three namespace and next in the action result index I'm adding the public static public static list in the list class I'm adding my class name which is EMP get records is a method name now after that let's create the object for the list class a list in this list class the t type of elements we are getting from the employee class emp class and lemp is an object new list emps emps method then after that we'll add our data to, uh, after that we'll add our connection string data source which is a string type so string connection is equals to between double quotes let's add our data source connection string data source for that open server explorer notice in the server explorer there is a data connections folder X right click that one add connection let's add the SQL support name use of PC SQL Express after that we'll select the database name the table I have created in this new DB database so I have selected the new DB let's check again the database name is new DB so here I have selected new DB then test connection is succeeded ok ok and here we got the new DB.DBO is added to our project now we require the data source of this new db right click the mouse go to properties now in the properties notice there is a connection string which contains the data source copy that one and paste between these double quotes semicolon now here we need to add double backward slashes then write the coding part using SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection now in this SQL connection I'm adding this variable the string type connection here and then using let's write the SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command the SQL command takes the query between double calls the command text is I want to fetch the records so I am using the select statement select star from the table name is EMP table let's copy this EMP table and paste here then again curly braces then the next step using SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter then curly braces SQL com dot uh, connection the connection we are getting from the SQL con variable this variable this object then now after adding the connection properties now let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method Now after opening the connection string next I am adding SDA 
the SQL data adapter object dot I'm adding the select command is equals to I'm adding SQL com object SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method so after adding the execute reader method I'm implementing the while loop to read the data while SGR dot read method I'm creating a new object for the EMP class mm, display EMP records is an object name is equals to new uh, EMP class display EMP records dot EMP ID is equals to the employee ID is a integer type so I'm SGR between double quotes I'm adding the first one EMP ID the column name so this EMP ID is a integer type so we need to convert convert dot to int 32 semicolon and the next one display emp records dot the second property name is a emp name is equals to sgr between double quotes i am adding the emp name dot to string semicolon display emp records dot email the property name then sgr between double quotes i'm adding email dot to string method the next one display emp records dot salary is equals to uh, sgr salary dot to string method because we have added the property of the salary is a string type so after we added the properties so after that let's add this object and emp dot add i'm adding this emp object name display emp records semicolon then the return type then the return i'm adding lemp Copy this one and paste it. That's it. You have written the code in this get records method. Now let's call this method in this I action result in the return view. Just simply add this method name get records. That's it. Now we require the index view page. But before adding the view page to our project, we must build the application first build build solution and the project is built successfully let's close this output message box now select the i action result index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index the template i'm selecting the list template it fetches it displays all the records then in the model class our model class is the EMP add that one EMP then click add and here we got our index view page also now in this index view page first I'm changing the heading instead of uh, index I'm adding display uh, records from database in ASP.NET Core, and we see without using entity framework. Then after the headings, I am adding the horizontal line. Now in this template, if you notice, we got the create new link and at the bottom the edit details and deletes which I don't require for this demo purpose I'm deleting that one 
and this create new also I am deleting this one that's it now it's time to check the results on the browser but before run this application the most important our controller name is EMP records but if you check in our solution explorer the startup.cs file open that one come to the bottom notice here the controller name is the home which is a default controller name let's delete that controller name and add our controller name is EMP records let's copy that one and add here in the controller section and the action view page is the index only which is this one that's it now let's check the results browse with I'm selecting the Google Chrome default browser set as default click browse and here we got the final output notice the display records from database in ASP.NET Core MVC without using entity framework after the headings we have binded the table EMP table from SQL Server Management Studio and this is the table EMP table this is the data that's it.